Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here for the first time, then hello, welcome. In today's video, I am filming my first fall video of 2021. I know, it is so crazy that we are almost at that time of year where we're starting to decorate for fall time. Now summer is my absolute favorite, so I'm trying not to rush summer. I am enjoying the warm weather fully, but I am definitely getting some pieces to decorate our new home. If you guys didn't know, we are building a house right now and it is almost done. We close in a few short weeks and things are crazy around here. Now, as you guys have probably noticed, I haven't been very present here on YouTube. I haven't been uploading very often and that is because of our moving. There has been so many things going on and just a long story short we've been really busy with everything so i'm hoping once we move i can get back on a good schedule for you guys uploading once or twice a week and bringing you guys some quality content i will be having probably some moving vlogs coming as well so i hope that you guys are excited for that and lots and lots of decorate with me's because we are going to be decorating our new house which I am just over the moon excited about. So I hope that you guys are also excited to see that content as well. Me and my mom did go to the Vintage Market Days here in Colorado a couple days ago and we found some awesome pieces. Pretty much everything I got was for fall decorations. So I'm super excited to share with you what I picked up. You guys will have to let me know if you are ready for fall or if you are still enjoying summer. Let me know in the comments down below. And if you are not following me on Instagram already, please make sure to do so. I post so much more content over there, especially on my stories. It's just a lot easier for me than filming a whole entire YouTube video. So if you are not already, please make sure to go follow me. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get on to the video. All right, so getting this video started, I did get in a new water bottle from the coldest water now you guys have heard me talk about them in the past before i have used their water bottles for such a long time this color is my absolute favorite i love the fact that this one has a straw as well because i feel like i just get more water intake in when i drink out of a straw and my other favorite part about this water bottle is that they actually customized it with my youtube name which i thought was insanely cool I love carrying this thing around. It has a nice handle right here too. So if you guys are interested, they do have a giveaway going on where you can win your own coldest water bottle. I will also have a link if you just wanna shop any of the items on their website. So make sure to check the description box down below if you guys are interested and have been looking for a water bottle to keep your water ice cold. So now getting in to the goodies that I got from the Vintage Market Days, the first booth that I'm going to share some items from is Nature's Lot. I will have their Instagram linked down below if you guys would like to check them out. They have an Etsy shop and they have been going around to all the Vintage Market Days. So you can kind of see their schedule to see if they're coming anywhere near you. Their booth was hands down my absolute favorite, you guys. Me and my mom spent probably close to 25, 30 minutes just going through it and trying to figure out what we wanted to get. So the first things that we got are some of these little birch cutouts. They're like little tree stumps. And I did get three of these. So I got different sizes and shapes. So this first one is a little shorter. And then this next one is a little bit taller, but still fairly skinny around. And then I got this one, which is a little bit wider, still short, to put a candle on top of. Now, if you guys did follow me on Instagram, you saw kind of how I set it up. I will save them to my story highlights if you guys wanna go back and look what I showed you guys a couple days ago. The cool thing about this little log is that it has a tea light on the top of it. So you can actually take this out if you want to, but I did get a tea light from their little booth. They had these little tea lights right here. 
They had probably five or six different colors. I love the little like glitter detail that it has. And it does have, you know, a little flickering light so you can put it on top and it looks like an actual real candle. So it doesn't fit perfectly into the tea light holder, but you can just set it right on top. And I would rather have a tea light that didn't have an open flame just for safety reasons. And it's nice that you can keep it on all day without having to worry. The next thing that I got are these adorable little gnomes. Now you guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you know that I absolutely adore gnomes. You either love them or you hate them. And I am one of the people that absolutely adores them. So I am going to have these gnomes sit on these little birch cutouts. So here's the first one. How stinking cute is he? I love the little legs dangling down. This one is holding a little acorn in his hand. And then the other little guy is holding a pumpkin. And I'm gonna have him sitting up just a little bit higher to give different heights there. So there's both of them. I absolutely love these little guys. So stinking cute. Cannot wait to do a fun little display with these two. So that is all that I got from the Nature's Lot booth. Now I do not remember the other booth's names of the other items I'm going to share with you, so I do apologize, but if I can find them, I will leave them linked down below. Now the next thing that I got is this planter. I did get two different sizes. I absolutely fell in love with the colors of this. It was just very neutral. It's like a tan and white color give you an up close view of that. And then I actually just got this little greenery stem, floral stem, whatever you want to call it, at the booth as well. This is great for fall colors. It's kind of like a mustard yellow color. And then I got a bigger version of the same planter. So I'll show you guys a size comparison here. So there's the size comparison. I thought these two would look good together, especially displayed on like a table together. Now the greenery piece that I got for the top of this one is actually really interesting. So I'm gonna take it off so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is what the greenery piece and floral piece looks like. So you just simply set it right on top there. It doesn't have like a stem or anything like that. I've never seen anything like that before. So when I saw this, I knew that I had to get it. I love the color of the floral on here. It's a really pretty burnt orange, which is absolutely perfect for the fall time. They had a ton of different pots to pick from in their booth, but this one was just calling my name. I loved how neutral it looked and I felt like it could go with any decor any time of year. The next thing that I picked up is this wood beaded garland. Now this booth had a ton of beaded garland and they had a bunch of different sizes and different colors. This was, I believe, $15, which I thought was a pretty good deal. That's how much I spent I think at Hobby Lobby getting my white beaded garland that looks really similar to this. So I decided to pick up this dark kind of walnut color. And the thing that I like about it is the twine on the end just goes through the bead. So it doesn't have any knot or anything like that at the end. That's how my Hobby Lobby one is as well. So I decided to pick this up because in our new house we want to incorporate a lot of like wooden tones. So I thought this would be good to kind of incorporate into our decor in the new house. So the last thing that I got at the Vintage Market Days is this long wooden cutting board that just looks like this. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, again, you guys would have seen my plans for this, which is actually still saved to my new build highlight on my stories on Instagram. So you guys can go watch it if you want to. I plan on using this in the new house. I had originally wanted to put my three canisters back here onto this and get rid of my Hobby Lobby shelf, but we ended up taking both displays over to the new house to see how they looked. And I actually really liked the Hobby Lobby shelf. I just need to sand it back to its original like natural brown color instead of the gray color that it is now. It goes really well in the kitchen we have now because we have a lot of gray tones in here. The walls are gray, backsplash is gray, but in our new house, we don't really have much gray. Our floors are kind of gray, but our walls are white, cabinets white, and then our backsplash will also be white with black grout. So I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use this for the canisters or my other 
idea that I had was putting like my oil and vinegar and kind of things like that. Maybe like a cookbook on one side with like a little floral, like fake floral pot or something. I love, love this piece and I definitely think we can find a place for it in the new kitchen. So now that we are done with the haul portion from the Vintage Market Days, I wanted to share with you guys my public goods order that I got in the mail. If you guys have never heard of public goods, they have sustainable materials and use healthy ingredients. They do have a membership that you can pay $79 a year for and it gets you access to all of their products on their website and you can get free shipping on any order over $45. So I will have a link to their website and these items that I got in today's video in the description box down below. So the first things that I got were a bunch of cleaners. So I got the bathroom cleaner, glass cleaner, and the surface cleaner. So this is the bathroom cleaner. This is the glass cleaner. Now I'm very excited to use these because as you guys know, we are moving from the townhome that we are in right now. We are renting this out. So once we get everything out of here, we are going to have so much cleaning to do. It's not going to even be funny. So these are going to be coming in handy for sure within the next couple of days. And then I did also get the surface cleaner, which I have used quite a bit of this already. I use it around the kitchen and it's really nice. And it has all of the ingredients on the back as well so you know what is in the cleaner. The next thing that I got are some laundry detergent pods which I am so stoked to use these. Now these are scent free so they are great for sensitive skin if you have problems with the laundry detergent giving you a reaction. I would definitely recommend checking these out. These are again cruelty free, paraben free, and vegan friendly. It does also come with all the ingredients on the back. It says healthy ingredients with nothing to hide and it does have the instructions for how to use them. And then I actually got some ramen noodles, which I am so excited to try. I honestly may have this for lunch today since I haven't ate anything yet. So it comes with five packs in here. I'm not 100% sure like what flavor this is, but it does have like healthier ingredients than like your typical ramen noodles. It says that they use a non deep fried method with no added MSG or preservatives, creating healthier and better tasting ramen noodles. So super excited to try this out. Like I said, I may try it today. This is all that I got in my public goods order. If you guys are interested in checking them out, like I said, I will have a link in the description box down below for you guys to shop. That is going to wrap this video up. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. Also, please let me know in the comments down below if you are excited for moving content and all of the fall decorating content. I would love to hear what you guys would like to see, especially since I really am trying my hardest to get back on a schedule and be more consistent for you guys. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Stay marvelous.